In this episode of Cisco Tech Talk, I'll go over some frequently asked questions, or FAQs, for the CBS series switches. How can Cisco business switches be managed? For small businesses managing small sites, Cisco business switches come with an intuitive web interface supporting configuration wizards, customizable dashboard, and integrated help. Users with both Cisco Business Switches and Cisco Business Wireless Access Points can also use the Cisco Business Mobile app to set up and manage the local network, all from their mobile devices, for a larger network. Self-managed or maintained by managed service providers, the Cisco Business Dashboard provides a single pane of glass for all Cisco Business Switches, routers, and wireless access points across multiple sites. Cisco Business Dashboard simplifies traditional challenges in deploying and managing business networks while automating the deployment, monitoring, and lifecycle management of the network. For more advanced users, Command Line Interface and Simple Network Management Protocol, SNMP, are also available. How is the network secured? Cisco Business Switches support a wide range of security capabilities to safeguard the information asset of small businesses. Secure Sockets Layer (SSL) encryption protects management data. IEEE 802.1x port security tightly limits access to specific segments of your network. IPMAC port binding (IPMB) prevents spoofing and detects and blocks deliberate network attacks. IPv6 First Hop Security extends the advanced threat protection to IPv6. Secure Core Technology, SCT, ensures that the switch is able to process management traffic in the face of a denial of service, DOS, attack. Why are there two power supply options? All 24 and 48 port models of Cisco business switches come with an internal power supply because these devices are normally rack mounted and connect directly to AC power outlets. Eight and 16 port models come with both internal and external power supply options. The external power supply models have smaller enclosure sizes so they can better fit into small spaces like on the desk, in the meeting room, or in the classroom. The internal power supply models have slightly larger enclosure size, but provide the benefit of easier connection to AC power outlets. All internal and external power supplies come with the switch, so there is no need to purchase the power supply separately. While I only covered a few of the most common FAQs, if you still have questions, check out the link in the description below for additional FAQ and resources that relate to Cisco business switches. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.